Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe please. I'm going to take you through some of the tips that can help you during your pregnancy journey. The first tip is just be psychologically prepared. Be prepared. Preparedness is very important because things are go really going to change your hormones, your emotions, your body size. You really need to be confident with yourself. Imagine your time is going to grow big. Some of your clothes will not be fitting in. Just so much complications. I remember uh, when I was I when I found out I was pregnant, I was to be admitted to the university. So imagine you're going to the new environment with the pregnancy and you're just wondering how will people be looking at you. So you really need to accept that fact. Be confident. Be prepared psychologically of the things that will, are going to change. And you really need to take care of your emotions because you'll be bursting out. You can't imagine you're crying that you want food in the middle of the night and there's nobody to take care of you. Even if there's someone to take care of you, you really need to, be, to, to try and just be you, the real you. Some people can run away from you because you're just too shouting, you're just too moody. So be prepared for that. And then the people around you should be very understanding. Just let them know that it's a face. Just nine months and you'll be gone. Then step two is for you to, to stay hydrated. Drink a lot of water, juices, drinks that can boost, that can keep you hydrated. You know that in you, you the baby inside needs liquids the amniotic fluid and you, you yourself so much going on in the womb and in the body so you really need to keep drinking a lot of water to keep you going step three tip number three i mean is travel safe so i was to travel to school and then i was to sit in a bus for eight hours and they are pregnant can you imagine that even your first trimester even your second trimester you really if you are traveling travel safe you really need to wear comfortable clothing you can't be wearing something tight at that point that your tummy is big or that point that you are feeling nausea so you really need to travel safe carry some extra clothing in just in case you vomit if if you are going for a long distance just sometimes just stand walk two steps so that your blood can flow you can't just sit until your legs become swollen and then you wear some stockings the comfortable stockings to keep your blood flowing step number four we need to eat eat, eat right you need nutrients eat proteins fruits to keep the baby growing inside the, to develop well you know at early age the first trimester is the baby is, is developing the fetus is really developing and you need strength you need food nutrients for both of you so you really need to eat just take small small amount of time some of don't 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 just listen to people that you just have to eat a lot of food i i i couldn't even eat it's not a must that you'll have appetite, that extra appetite. Just eat even if it's small, just push yourself to eat that one. I, the first trimester, I couldn't eat anything. I was just vomiting. It was vomiting, vomiting. But the only thing I will do is to drink porridge. So that porridge, you just have to mix it well. Just millet, sugar, everything that, can, that you think is very nutritious. Mix, then take the porridge one cup in the morning lunch and evening just to, to keep you because you can't force yourself to eat if if the hormones the hormones just too much for you yeah no the nausea yeah the nausea is too much so imagine you take anything and you bomb it the next minute the next day and then even as you eat there are these drugs that you are given in the hospitals the the iron and the calcium let's check them i remember my neighbor used to tell me that she cannot check them just for the baby not for you and they're not even bad just take take the drugs and then eat well it will take a lot of fruits and then i'll highlight some of the foods that are very risky for you and the baby so just eat right eat right 
you can you can search you can search on what you read about it it like me during my parents i couldn't eat pineapple because i was told that's very uh it's highly risky it's, it is i don't know that it brings me miscarriages so i didn't eat but i don't know about that you can research more the next tip is to really rest you can tell me that you want to work the way you used to work if even if you are you are employed you really need to take some break for yourself just to take things easy even as you work working is good but just ensure you take a rest every time just don't overwork yourself if a host uh, are just in the house you can help but don't carry too much load on your head that you're going to carry water from the stream or anything just just rest and then do the right thing at the right time just rest and then tip number five what you need to do is to exercise I'm not saying that you, you, you start squatting and bending and and stretching your head that you, that you can't you can't exercise. These are some of the three exercises that you can do. Just walk. I used to walk from the house to school, a place of around, let's say two kilometers or three. Just walk to and fro <laughs> in the morning and in the evening. Uh, but mine was uh, also as a result of the nose. It was too much. I couldn't board a bus. So I really need it. I really, I, I just had to walk. So you can just walk. Walking helps. You swim. You can swim. Me, yeah, I couldn't swim. And uh, walking helps me a lot. Even at the time I was in the labor room, I didn't have to, to, to really struggle. <laughs> Every, the, the, the pelvic girl was already prepared. So you just tried to push push and then the baby so you 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 have to walk swim if you can swim and you can dance a little just to keep your body flexible and thank you so much for listening i'll be bringing more tips next friday subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so that my next video when i you will be seeing my baby she's a very beautiful girl so i hope to see you then thank you